once again the scene of blood and ruins as a suicide bomber blew himself up at Mike's place. They know that they're going to kill people. How can they do this? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, our next guest years ago was having dinner in Tel Aviv, Israel, and a suicide bomber attack left him critically injured. He then went on to make a documentary about it. That was some of it that you just saw. We're here to tell us his story, producer and director, Jack Baxter. Jack, thank you so much, sir, for coming on here. And what happened to you was done by some of the sick, twisted individuals who carried out the attack in Israel six or seven days ago. Now, tell us a little bit about your story. Well, I can tell you this as far as this was done by two British nationals who were uh, connected to al-Qaeda, um, and Hamas recruited these two guys. And this was done on the same night of the day of the Roadmap for Peace plan. I don't know if you remember mm -hmm. that whole mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. business. And this was a bar right next to the American embassy on the Tel Aviv beachfront called Mike's Place. And uh, very popular and uh, a place where Israelis, Arabs, Europeans, Americans, and Marines from next door were. So this was Hamas. Uh, this was their answer to the peace plan in 2003. And uh, they used British nationals the first time in the history of Israel mm. where, British where foreign nationals were involved in a suicide bombing. Now, you were there making a film when the attack happened. And you were critically injured. I'm sure the effects of what happened to you will never go away. Seeing what's going on in Israel, what goes through your mind, what the people there must be experiencing? Well, I tell you, the Hamas is the one thing that everyone, and I mean everyone in this planet, must understand is that Hamas are not freedom fighters. That's right. They're terrorists. This is a, this is a violent terrorist religious cult that wants world domination. I mean, if you listen to the, if you read their charter, if you listen to their spokesman, they want, you know, they want rule over everyone. They want the demise, not only of the Jewish state, mm -hmm. but they want, you know, who they call traitors in the Muslim community. They want them out of the way too. So this is not, you know, these aren't freedom fighters. This is no group of individuals that uh, should be honored. Uh, if anybody should be out today on the day of jihad that they've declared, anybody supporting them, Arab, uh, students, whoever, whoever mm -hmm. should understand what this group is all about and that uh, they wouldn't be accepted by Hamas either. They would have to, uh, no matter what their politics, just because of who they are and what their religion or ethnicity might be. Let's talk about the threat here at home. Everybody uh, in the Biden administration, the left, singing kumbaya down at the border. Anyone can get through. Gentlemen, both of you, uh, feel free to chime in here. Uh, Commissioner, we'll bring you in, though. How much of a worry is it? We were just touching on it on the last topic here, that somebody from Hamas may come through that border now. It, you know what, uh, what Jack just said? Mm -hmm. is the thing that nobody, these kids in these schools, these high school students, these college students, all these morons running around supporting Hamas, the one thing they don't understand is that they're not militants, um, they're not freedom fighters, these are terrorists. And they want the demise of Israel, they want the demise of Christianity, mm -hmm. they want the demise of anything, and they believe in their head, in their ideology, they believe that they have the right to kill you if you don't believe in the Quran the same way they do. Mm -hmm. And you can call it Hamas, Hezbollah, Al-Shabaab, Al-Qaeda. You can call it whatever you want. They're all the same. They all want the same thing, the annihilation of anything that's not Muslim. There should only be, there are two sides to this, good versus evil. Right? That's it. All right, right, Jack Baxter, Commissioner Carrick, thank you so much for being with us, and you'll, we'll be talking to you again real soon.